Hello guys, George here. Um, so in this video, um, I'm going to go over Bitcoin again. Um, and in this one, I'm going to be focusing on some higher time frame levels too from uh, back in the day when we were, we were trading around this area as well. All right, since, yeah, I mean, it's a topic that that is not covered much, right? Everyone is focusing on the price section that is going on right now. But the price section back at all time highs, uh, from back in 2017 is definitely going to play a big role, in my opinion, in um, how we're going to react around this um, these areas and will help us to um, to see what's going, what's possibly going to happen next. Right. All right. So let's get right into it. Um, I started on the um, 12 hour chart um, and as you can see, this is a price action that happened back in 2017 around the all time highs. And the main um, range that we were trading in, in this area, in my opinion, was this one, right? So why this one? Um, as you can see, we rallied, okay, boom, 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 tapped 17.8. And that's the price where we saw a decent sell off. Okay, made a low right here, saw some upside again, then failed to make a higher high. Instead, we went for the range low. Okay, swept range low. Okay, reclaim, retest, and then we saw upside. Then we swept range high, perfectly tapped the mid range, and then we had higher. Okay. Um, then we deviated above range high again as soon as we got back back below. As you can see, the price action around this level is pretty significant. Um, and then we sold off again. OK, and then we never got back above. So uh, right here, mid range acting as support broke below retest resistance, resistance broke back above support, support broke back below and then we sold off. OK, so this is um, a key range that I'm watching right now. Um, another level I'm going to mark is this high. Because as you guys know, we're right now we're trading around the 16.7k um, area, which is in the upper half of this trading range. In this um, area, um, we have a key high. So a drawn liquidity, a key high at 17.4k with an untapped range high um, above us. Okay, so these levels I'm going to use now and see where price is trading right now uh, to focus on our future game plans, right? So let's head over here. And as you can see, these levels have been insanely pivotal. It's actually beautiful. Um, so resistance here, resistance got above, deviated. And then as soon as it got a clean close above and held, um, we traded higher. And the first area where we um, had a decent resistance was right at that mid range. Okay, as you can see, um, reclaimed perfect retest of the mid range, and now we're seeing higher prices again. So what am I watching now? As you um, as we know, this is the key high, um, the key liquidity high, okay, and this is our key range high. So what am I what am I watching now on the higher time frames? This is going to be our drawn liquidity. So I'll be watching a sweep of this high into range high. And this is where I'll definitely be hedging. OK, no matter no matter what, I'm going to hedge uh, my Bitcoin right here, which stops above most likely above 18.5 um, targeting here and uh, 40, 14 case below here. OK, this is the first area where I think um, price will halt and where we could see a deeper pullback than the ones we have seen right here. OK, um, so yeah, those are the higher time frame levels I'm watching. Um, where do I want to buy a dip? If we get a major dip, that's around the monthly open and around this range low. OK, that's where I'll um, where I'll um, definitely buy more spot. OK. And um, yeah, where I'll be fully out of my short hedges if we get there right below this key low, okay, into range low. Um, 
So let's take a look now at the lower time frames and what we see here. Let's start off on the daily and mark out Monday high and Monday low. So this is Monday high and this is Monday low. Monday low. Monday high. All right, let's see the weekly. Um, so also gonna mark out last week's high. Okay, that's also gonna be a key level. Last week's high. All right, so those are the key levels on the higher time frames we're gonna be watching. Um, let's head over to the four hour now okay see what we have here right so we're just simply making higher highs and higher lows right as you can see um higher low broke out again retest this um former resistance as support now we're trading higher again made a higher high okay so what would um what do I, do I want to see here? Maybe some consolidation, a sweep of the lows, okay? And that's um, what I want to see hold, okay? If we had below last week's high, I want to see a wick and a quick buyback above here, okay? And then if we reclaim the daily open, maybe even Monday high, that's where I think we'll be trading higher towards this high from back in 2017, as I showed earlier, into range highs, okay? So that's, that's the first long play. Um, if we get a sweep into last week's high, that then I'll definitely be looking um, to fill some longs, okay, on the hourly. As you can see, this kilo right here um, is definitely going to be a kilo. So if we get some ranging here and then a wig down, boom, reclaim, that's where I'll be long. Invalidation, maybe keep it below here, otherwise below the low, okay targets all the way up here 17.4 all right what's the bearish play let me remove all of these what's the bearish play if we first go for a monday high we sweep monday high break below the daily open and then we lose last week high and we don't get a buyback but instead we close below here see some ranging here then a sweep of the highs right here of the local highs will definitely be a good short hedge um, and then i think we'll be trading towards monday low next okay which is where i'll be looking for longs again if we see something like this reclaim then i'll be looking for longs right here okay so that's the bearish play if we don't sweep the highs break below okay same game plan then i'll be looking for longs down here um if we range here but don't go for monday low instead we get another pump and reclaim last week's high again that's where i'll be looking for longs again towards monday high and um 17.4 okay so um the long play the upside objective is clear this key um, high from back in 2017 into range high, which is where I'll be looking to short hedge, okay? Downside objectives for now, Monday low, but in my opinion, um, the more likely play here is the upside, how to get on board on a long. If we get a sweep of the lows before sweeping the highs, of course, then the draw on liquidity is definitely to the upside above Monday high and above this key high. Um, or if we just reclaim the daily open now, um, see some ranging here and then get a break above Monday high, then that's where I'll be looking for longs on the lower time frames. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, so yeah, that's what, I, what I'm watching here for the near future. I think we'll be heading towards 17.4 um, into our range high, 17.7, um, which is where I'll be looking for hedges back all the way down into 14 case. All right. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to see more of my analysis and um, all of my trades posted live, I have my own group. I'll leave a link in the description to my website. Um, 
so yeah definitely check that out all right i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one take care